To the latest on the aftermath of Edalia as the storm slammed into the Gulf Coast shoreline. Our already eroded beaches now in even worse condition, losing more sand with that surge. And tonight, you can see that for yourself from above. Take a look as uh, our uh, Sky 10 flew over the Pinellas coast. You can see how the sand shifted shifted uh, north as we go up our coast, taken from our beaches and also pushed onto the streets. Dunes decimated by those high surge waters. These were beaches already in need of renourishment. And as 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin reports, if repairs are not made now, it will only have consequences, not just for this next storm, but for years to come. Beaches up and down the coast lost an immense amount of sand. It's so bad that underneath the walkway, there isn't any sand. The dunes are damaged, the inland roads in need of cleanup, and now city officials have a desperate plea. We are gravely concerned with the damage that occurred from Hurricane Idalia. We ask the Army Corps to reverse their decision made concerning the coastal communities in Pinellas County and renourish our beaches. All beach renourishment projects in Pinellas County have been put on pause by the Army Corps of Engineers. These projects are vital in keeping coastal communities protected from storms. Well, Adalia was much more severe than the past storms we've had. Um, I've been working for the county for about 10 years, and this is by far the most severe erosion we've had post-storm. In Pinellas County, every single beach suffered significant sand loss because of Hurricane Adalia. Here in Indian Rocks Beach, we're at 24th Avenue Public Beach Access, and it's one of 14 beach access points closed because that sand loss made these entries unsafe. There are 14 beach accesses still open in Indian Rocks Beach, but to repair the damage done by Edalia, the city will have to spend hundreds of thousands. Our estimated impact to the city is about $600,000, about, about $530,000 having to do with the uh, beach walkovers that we've lost. It'll take the city months to repair these walkovers. City officials estimate roughly one third of the beaches washed away. We put signs up this morning reminding people about not to cross the, the accesses. Uh, a five or six foot, in some case, almost seven foot drop is not a safe thing. As we enter the holiday weekend, officials say it is what it is. We were already in a fairly eroded state when this came, but now every, all the protection we have is gone. We're pretty vulnerable. Next week, the Army Corps of Engineers is hosting a public meeting to share updates on the storm damage reduction project. Right now, we're just working as fast as we can to come up with a solution to put them back. What would that look like? Uh, I, I don't even know at this point. County and city officials are hopeful the Army Corps will reverse its decision to require perpetual property easements in order for renourishment to move forward. In Pinellas County, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay.